Waco, Texas, and uh, today we're finally getting around to fixing that antenna that we broke off on our way up to Connecticut. So we're going to kind of show you as we go, as we're learning also, how we did it. And so if you ever run into this, hopefully this video will help you out. It got really windy up there, so I'm just going to tell you what we used when we were on the roof. We had the hair dryer, made it a lot easier to scrape off once we heated up the decor. We had the scrapers there, we had a bit driver with a good old trusty RV square bit. We had our cleaning solution and our paper towels to clean the roof off a bit before we put the new antenna on there. This here is the uh, mounting plate. Now we weren't sure if we needed it, but it turns out we did, and it comes with its own hardware, as you see there. That of course is the uh, antenna itself, which we will be mounting. This is the die core. Of course we want on the roof, you want the self-leveling uh, lap sealant. And of course you're gonna need the cock gun to apply that. And I just brought up uh, either some snips or the old utility knife to cut off the end of the lap sealant tip. Alright, it's breezy. We apologize. Audio's not going to be good on this one. We're going to unpack the box see what we got. We got a owner's manual, don't need that, have the actual antenna, so we can see, it's not exactly the same, it's a newer model, which we'll get to eventually, looks like we have the arm piece, we're adjusting it, and yes, here's the, there we go, that's the part that's down in a bedroom, except it looks different. Looks bigger. Good. This is for... This will be a piece that goes in the wall. We'll see what happens. This is the part that broke when the antenna broke. We're not using this. This is on our bedroom ceiling. We're not going to use that. We're going to keep what's in our bedroom. It has a signal finder on it. That comes in handy sometimes. This here is for two TVs. We have, believe we have a setup for four. Anyways, ours is different. We're not going to use that. We're going to start out by trying to pry up the old ceiling type board and uh, see if we can get to these screws here. works best with a metal scraper. We have the metal and the plastic as well so we can both tag team. But it's really important to note that with this metal scraper that you're very very careful. You want to go at a slow kind of almost an upward angle because you don't want to gouge too deep and actually nick your rubber roof. And you know go slow, take your time um, because you don't want to make this worse. Um, pro tip if you're having difficulty getting up the die core or if you're in a really cold environment, a handy dandy hair dryer just kind of blown over the area for a few seconds at a time will warm up the die core and make it come off more easily. Wow, that really is so much easier and really simple to do. bedroom which is where the antenna comes through 
So this is what we presently have right now with the King Jack antenna. So we have to undo this screw here in the knob and then we can remove this entire assembly and this is the hole that's straight up to the roof. This is the part that was inside that the cap goes over to actually turn and rotate your antenna. Well, we have the antenna off. We've scraped all the die core off. Now we need to clean it. Noticed some things were different that we had to figure out. And a uh, big shout out to uh, Two Beards and a Babe, Todd. It's always very helpful. Kind of helped us problem solve through it. So, the other one, the new one, just has this one connector right there. See, this, this did have a screw that was here. So it was mounted in here. So right away we noticed, well that's strange, because this has this splitter thing. So I said, well, what if we just take the splitter off of here and put it on there? So the problem is you have two female connections, so we needed an adapter. Ran out to Ace Hardware here in Waco. So now we can connect the two sides together. One thing that we ordered separately from the antenna was this mounting plate. Now, technically, this antenna will cover up the hole in the RV, but what it won't cover up are these holes here. Now, yes, we could put die core over the top, but you would have to cover that entire area with die core. It could be a little messy. And you know, if there's air bubbles in it, it's not perfect. But if you have something like this, you know that it will cover up the entire area and you don't have to worry about water getting into any of those holes because they're sufficiently covered. Before we can install the mounting plate, we have to weave the wires of our antenna through here then it only has one way in which it totally fits. And the kit comes with screws and nuts to bolt these two pieces down. However, before we do that, we are planning to put some die core sealant in the groove so that there's a good seal between the antenna and the mounting plate. We'll attach them together and then we will fasten the mounting plate down to the roof of the rig. So yes, we will have to put new holes in the RV, but everything will be free from the elements and able to be covered by the die core so we don't have to worry about leaks. The wire is through the bottom of the mounting plate. The antenna will rotate freely and then we can hook up our wires on the inside to our splitter.
far as it'll go. So this portion will actually go through the pre-drilled hole in the bottom to our handle on the inside. Needs to go into that black hole, the tiny one. Oh, and then you also have to make sure that your coax cable hole is facing the rear of your RV. And when your antenna is in a stationary position like this, it won't turn any further. That's how you know it's facing the front of your rig. That's how it's installed properly. So let's get this bugger in there. Be generous. There's no right or wrong way. the RV. So this is our handle, our King Jack attenuator handle that we had already mounted in the RV. If I flip this switch here, this shows signal strength. You can adjust it to get the strongest signal possible. Of course, turning your antenna will affect your signal. But what we really came down here was to make sure that we had this portion inside the RV. This is the portion that connects you to the antenna. And when we put our knob over here, that is how we rotate the antenna to get a better signal. So now that we know it's down here, now we need to attach the antenna to the handle. It all kind of, it mounts in here like so. The portion of the antenna is one directional, it's cube shaped, it only fits here. And then we have a screw that goes up into the handle and secures it snugly. This knob only fits one way. Yes, it's a square, but there's also a notch here at the top. And that allows our square peg to fit with that notch. No, that ain't very pretty, but the idea is to just, just cake it on there and it's self-leveling so it's gonna just flatten out and then you're gonna have a nice good seal. You don't want any, any moisture in there. So we're just gonna gunk it up. While we're up here, we're gonna take a look at our other seals and touch those up too. everything is 100% covered and we will have no leaks. <laughs>